Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and today I want to show you how I refurbished probably the coolest um, thrift store find I've ever had and I also want to give you some tips that I use when I am flipping furniture for sale on Craigslist. So as I mentioned before this table that I came across is probably the coolest thing that I've ever found in a thrift store. I bought it for $24 and it is a mid-century 1950s coffee table or what it was called by the manufacturer is a cocktail table. So this kind of brings me to my first two tips that I always stick by um, when I'm looking for things to flip for Craigslist. And the first tip would be look for furniture that is solid wood. Um, I just think solid wood is way easier to um, work with when you're refinishing. And it's also more impressive for people who are looking for furniture to buy. The second tip would be look for furniture with brand names on it. This table is by Tomlinson Furniture and it had a little logo on the bottom which showed me that it came from their Sophisticate line and um, that gave me the opportunity to actually do a, just a quick Google search on that furniture and I saw that I had really come across something that was really good quality and a lot of that brand is going for a pretty high price online. So this just kept me from losing money when I listed it on Craigslist. Obviously you have to list things according to the market in your area so even though this table might be selling for a thousand dollars on places online, I'm not going to be able to sell it for that much in my area. So let's go ahead and get started and flip this table. So as I showed earlier, the 70 year old finish on this table was pretty chippy and worn off in a lot of places. Um, I went ahead and started in with 80 grit sandpaper and worked my way up to 200 grit and this finish came off really easily. So this seems like a good time to um, pop in with another tip. So my third tip for choosing furniture that you would like to flip and sell on Craigslist would be to choose something that doesn't need a whole lot of work. Um, if you're going to get your money's worth out of the time and effort you're going to have to spend to um, flip the furniture and make it sellable, try to choose something that you can either quickly fix yourself, doesn't need a lot of repair, or maybe just a new finish or a coat of paint to bring it up to par. So I was super rude when I was making this video and I forgot to film the staining of the table. So what I decided to do was just go ahead and put together a really quick little simple tutorial for how I stain all my wood furniture and um, that way there wouldn't be any confusion about how the table was stained. So I'm going to use this scrap piece of wood and a brush because that's how I like to apply my stain and the stain that I used on my table was this early American stain by Minwax. So what I'm going to do after I stir my stain up real good is go ahead and apply this stain with the grain. And on my table I wanted to give it a really nice rich stain color. Um, and there was also a couple different woods used on it and so I wanted to kind of match those a little bit and so I applied a pretty thick coat of stain. Um, I did, however, make sure that it was really evenly applied, even though it was thick. And then, rather than wipe all the stain off right away, I let it sit for a few minutes. Definitely don't let it dry or sit in the sun for very long where it's going to dry really quickly. Um, but just let it sit for a few minutes, maybe like 15, 20 minutes and then come back with a rag and wipe it off. And this will just give the stain a longer chance to soak into the wood and get a deeper, richer, darker color.
For my final finish, I used this water-based polyacrylic by Minwax. I really like this finish. It dries crystal clear. It doesn't have any amber or yellowish tone to it, and it's really easy to use. So for my fourth and final tip of this video, you need to, when you are listing furniture, prove its worth. Um, it really helped when I was listing this table that I could find the original catalog online and add those photos in. Um, and also that I had the brand name and manufacturer's title for this. It just helped, like people can look that up on Google and see that, okay, this table is worth a thousand dollars. So when you do that, it just kind of lets let the facts speak for themselves, do your research, add links into your posting and any information and factual evidence that you can of your item's worth.